Thank you, two people left. Wow, wasn't Ski great? He just hit the record button. He's like, wait. Um, uh, there's a lot of things I want to talk about, but we don't have time for it. So, I mean, no, I heard what you said, Ski. Fucking YOLO. Let's now, let's do it. Thanks, I forgot. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, W.E.B. Du Bois wrote about the double consciousness theory. Every young black and male American is aware that he's being watched at all times from the minute he can walk to the day he dies. A couple of days ago, I'm in a living room with three white girls. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're conflicted because they start speaking about traveling. Liberal people, there's blind spots too. They start traveling and they realize at the lunch table or whatever fucking village they were saving that the people from that village said, ah, oh, I thought you were the other one. And they were like, so that's when I was like, I, they can't tell the difference between me and the other one. Oh my God. John? What? <laughs> yeah, this time, this time, Gretchen, tell them about the time you know, that you did the time thing with the saving. There were some Indians. All right, let's be honest, all Asians, they look similar. But they were like, we can't tell the difference between you and the other girl with the expensive violin. <laughs> this is a liberal thing. And I had to sit there with three white girls aware that I'm aware of myself, that they're not aware of me <laughs> being the goddamn choir they're preaching to. You with me? So how do you have a foursome in that complex situation? You don't. It's a moral dilemma. What, do we just let the, the future of tomorrow's liberal white girls just think that <laughs> Everybody knows them by their facial features? No. They've got good hair. She's, gonna, she's probably going to take a bath and smell good. And then, you know what I mean? Die with Jane Goodall save lives right up for her. No, this is, I can't. So I had to speak up and I was like, you know, this is normal. This, is, this happens. And I got to thinking, wow. As much as we bash the South, the South or, or people that are ignorant or Islamics with ignorant views or whatever, fucking A. I mean, liberal entitlement really makes it hard to have a foursome. Is this thing on? Where's my sexual abusers? Levity, huh? Good night. No, I'm not done. Let's talk about it. How do you maneuver through this really just, just conflicted? You can't keep a boner and be like, uh-uh. I can't let this happen. You can feel the weight of a million fat black girls going, mm, mm, and he gonna let them just think, uh, look at him. That, they're talking about me, look at him. Mm, no good. You gonna let them white girls just, mm. I can feel that weight. I can feel, I can feel the weight of male imagination of a fivesome not happening, but maybe. I had nothing to lose. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just, I'm just conflicted with that. I guess at the end of the day, I did speak up and I said, this, this is what it is and this is funny to me and I appreciate you guys are innocent. Everybody shirts off. <laughs> no, I did like, so what, you know, they didn't take him off, but I said it. <laughs> it's to let them know. It's to let them know I'm not feeling offended <laughs> by your ignorance. It's fine. Levity. Where it gets offensive is when you go, oh, I'm sorry. Then it's like, oh, you're sorry that you weren't aware and that I was a minority. I was aware you were aware I'm a minority. Don't apologize late. <laughs> I accepted you as you are. By the content of your ignorance, not by the color of your boobs. You know what I'm saying, Grasshopper? Are you with me? Has anyone here had a black friend and was like, this is my black friend? I do it for fun. Yeah, 
I go to the north side, and I go, this is my black friend. He works at Wendy's. We all do it, it's okay. It's weird if we're not diverse. That's a problem, that's wrong. That's when we are just a bunch of robots who want the next version of us. Ski, I'm inspired, the set is inspired by you, by the way. Yeah, fuck that. So fuck everything that walks. Because there's fish out there that are smart. Orcas, I call them fish, fuck them. <laughs> They have different dialects. They're catching up. I say to that, well, they haven't had any world wars. We've had two. Catch up, fish. And go twins. No, what I'm saying is it's okay to be diverse and different and address different sins. That's poetic because I can do that here. Sins, it's okay to. But it's not okay to recognize the truth and then apologize for the truth when you don't need to. Just give the man a beaches. <laughs> you know? It's, it's, it's nice, it's sweet. Like, I don't know, like a guy who came too quick. Oh. <laughs> oh. I mean, I did make him come quick. Oh. No, it's fine if you want a sandwich. Oh, it's fine. Seriously, I'm tired. Don't worry about it. I gotta work in the morning. Don't worry about it. Oh, he turned the TV off for me. I'm just yeah, just beat it to fucking death. Cause, Cause that's you know, I don't. What's my point? What's my point? I don't know. What have you taken away from this? Huh? You've been listening very politely. Were you in the room? What do you think? I know I'm not picking on you, I'm just curious. What the fuck am I saying? I'm, help. You want a four-way. At the end of the day, yes. You have a black friend. Huh? You have a black friend. I have a black friend over north. Works, works at Wendy's. Wendy's. Great listening. What's my point? <laughs> Guys, get it. What is my point? Am I talking about you? Women, hair, hair, hair. No. Chest. <laughs> I don't know what my point is. We're all the same. That's not my fucking point, but thank you. Clearly, black people are better. <laughs> uh, no, that's not true. But what I feel like is uh, diversity shouldn't stop you from a four way at Wendy's, right? You know what I'm saying? If you got a lighter. That's. Hold on, you disagree? <laughs> are there frosties included? Yes. Is, well, how fat are we? We're we talking about vaginas <laughs> times four. So four frosties. Yes, sir, you can have your frosties. And I accept that. If a man will take a frosty over a vagina, God bless him. This is what I love about the artist quarter. So I'll take stuff like this, go on YouTube, see what kind of work. Understand how the PA system here works. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't know. Uh, and then never apologize for it. And then make it better, move it forward. I'm sad to hear that shit's not gonna be forever. But who is? Huh? Huh? Well, the Vikings. You're right. That's right, lady who was there the day they started. <laughs> That's an old joke, not ageism. <laughs> To observation, and she should know because she was there when they got them. Um, yeah, uh, a friend of mine uh, ditched at the last uh, second. He was going to do an improv sketch with me, Sean Hunt. However, if you would like to join me, or if you would like to join me in this next sketch, I would appreciate it. Okay, guys, we don't actually have time, so uh, see, stay tuned. We'll do it next time. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, where's the host? That's a great I'll question. do it. I'll do the job. Hey, guys, thanks for coming to Artist <laughs> Quarter. Woo! Yeah. Give it up for yourselves. Give it up for poetry and art. Give it up for you for laughing at I don't know what you were laughing at. That was wacky. Ha! <laughs> and the bartender for listening to vaginas. Thank you. You guys are smart and clean. Are you going to... Come on. I'm just kidding about the hosting. You can take the mic. <laughs> I was busy to go and stop. Oh. Oh.
It's okay, you do kind of look alike. Good point! Good point! Nice, astute observation! You're welcome! We've learned!